Alright everyone, a few days ago we got some new Araki art that means a lot for Jojo Land. Here is the image and we can already see some really cool stuff on here. Generally some stuff you could see is some text on the art, like this really big lands, which you can see is supposed to connect with the Jojo inside of the bunny. And yeah, there's a rabbit on here as well, as well as a 2023 on the bottom with a palm tree connected to the S in land and something interesting inside the rabbit. Alright, first off, this rabbit. Some people might think that this is really important to Jojo Land or something like that, but the rabbit is actually just because 2023 is the year of the rabbit. So Araki made that just to celebrate a new Jojo part with the new Chinese Zodiac animal. But I mean, who knows? It could be possible that bunnies have something to do with Jojo lands. That would certainly be interesting, but at the current moment, it's nothing to be excited for. So this teaser art has palm trees, which is quite interesting. The last piece of artwork we got that was of Jojo lands did contain a boat so this could give us some clues and the idea that whatever group we're following this time around will potentially be traveling around specifically sea travel going around in some tropical place maybe so maybe it's focused on a specific area where sea travel is needed. Just like how the specific 8.1% of my audience subscribed to my channel is needed in my life. I love you all. But yeah, so far what we know about Jojo Lands is that there's a boat, there's water, there's palm trees. Okay, let's discuss the elephant in the room. Or well, the person inside the rabbit. A lot of people think that this could potentially be the brand new Jojo of part 9. My opinion on the matter is, yes, this is the Jojo Land's protagonist. My main reasoning for this is because this is a New Year's artwork piece. And if you look at all of the previous New Year's art, Josuke, the main protagonist of Jojolian, part 8 of Jojo, appeared in every single artwork. Yeah, some of them did have some other characters to it, but they always included Gappy. Okay, so there is this one artwork of the tiger, but the thing about this is that it's not like there's like another person in here is just a tiger. So if you're counting like just people, Josuke is in most of them. And with all of the artwork that includes a human, Josuke is always included in that. Now, <laughs> unless the bunny is the main Jojo of Jojo Lands, it would be really funny to see a bunny, but that makes no sense. So this has to be our new protagonist. It just wouldn't make sense for Araki to promote like a main Jobro or even a minor villain in artwork that was always reserved for his main character. So my personal opinion is that this is in fact the main protagonist of Jojo Land. This is where the Jojo Dose in me comes out. It has been a while. It has been a while, I will admit. But this new protagonist, he does look fairly familiar, doesn't he? Yes. Flashback, man. Oh, oh, my old friend, how I've missed you so. You have to be flashback, man, right? I mean, some of the elements are there. Is this truly Flashback Man's real identity? The main protagonist of part 9? Please, Araki. I'm begging you. We need an answer to Flashback Man. He's the coolest character that you've ever created, except this guy. And this guy, too. I <laughs> I'm not a gobium here. This this has to be Flashback Man. Now, if you, if you want to see some real Flashback Man copium, you'd have to watch this video right here. I was, I was certainly suffering during this time. 